fucking feet. All right. <clears throat> I'm ready. This guy put hair removal cream on his privates, but it all went wrong. And he left this review on Amazon afterwards. <laughs> After having been told my danglies looked like an elderly Rastafarian, I decided to take the plunge and buy some of this as pre previous shaving attempts had only been mildly successful and I nearly put my back out trying to reach the more difficult bits. Being a bit of a romantic, I thought I would do the deed on the missus' birthday as a bit of a treat. Fucking hell, I need to open the original on that, I couldn't fucking read it. Oh, no, I sent the second one. Okay. I ordered it well in advance and working in the North Sea, I considered myself a bit above some of the characters writing the previous reviews and wrote them off as soft office types. Oh my fellow sufferers how think I was. I waited until the other half was tucked up in bed and after some vague hints about a special surprise I went down to the bathroom. Initially all went well and I applied the gel and stood waiting for something to happen. I didn't have long to wait. At first there was a gentle warmth which in a matter of seconds was replaced by an intense burning and a feeling I can only describe as being given a barbed wire wedgie by two people intent on hitting the ceiling with my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking kettle. Religion hadn't featured much in my life until that night, but I suddenly became willing to convert to any religion to stop the violent burning around the tar into the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> and what seemed like the destruction of the meat and two fetch. <laughs> Struggling to not bite through the my bottom lip, I tried to wash the gel off in the sink and only succeeded in blocking the plug hole with a mat of hair. <laughs> Through the haze of tears, I struggled out of the bathroom across the hall into the kitchen. By this time, walking was not really possible, and I crawled my fucking final <laughs> yards to the fridge in the hope of some form of cold relief. I yanked the freezer drawer out and found a tub of ice cream. Tore the lid off and positioned it <laughs> under me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The reefer was fantastic, but only temporary, as it melted fairly quickly, and the fiery stabbing soon returned. Due to the shape of the ice cream tub, I hadn't managed to give the starfish any treatment. <laughs> <laughs> Due to the shape of the ice cream tub, I hadn't managed to give the starfish any treatment, and I groped around in the drawer for something, as I was sure my vision was going to fail fairly soon. I grabbed a bag of what I later found out was frozen sprouts and tore it open and tried to be quiet as I <laughs> <laughs> The fucking kettle off. <laughs> I grabbed a bag of what I later found out was, spr was frozen sprouts and tore it open trying to be as quiet as I did so. I took a handful of them and tried in vain to clench some between the cheeks of my arse. This was not doing the trick, as some of the gel had found its way up the church. This was not doing the trick, as some of the gel had found its way up the chutney channel, and it felt like the space shuttle was running its engines behind me. This <laughs> This was probably, and hopefully, the only time in my life I was going to wish there was a gay snowman <laughs> <laughs> which should give you some idea of the depths that I was willing to sink, sink to in order to ease the pain. <laughs> the only okay. solution was... Shut the fuck up. The only solution my, my pain crazed mind could come up with was to gently ease one of the sprouts where no veg had gone before, unfortunately. I left to the strange grunts coming from the kitchen. The other half chose that moment to come and, <laughs> come and investigate, and was greeted by the sight of me 
<laughs> Arts in the air, strawberry ice cream dripping from my balance. <laughs> Pushing a friend <laughs> in my arse while muttering, oh, that's so good. Oh. Understandably, this was a shock to her, and she let out a scream, and I hadn't heard her. And as I hadn't heard her coming, oh, fuck off. Understandably, this was a shock to her, and she let out a scream, and as I hadn't heard her come in, it caused an involuntary spasm of shock in which in, in myself, which resulted in the sprout being ejected <laughs> at quite some speed in her direction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to compose myself in comments. Reminds me of that scene from Ali G. <sighs> Usa. Usa. I can understand that having a sprout farted against your leg at 11 at night in the kitchen probably wasn't the special surprise she was expecting. And having to explain to the kids the next day that the strange hollow in the ice cream, <laughs> what the what the strange hollow in the ice cream was, didn't improve my sta improve my status. So to sum it up, V removes hair, <laughs> dignity, and self respect. Smiley face. Oh shit! Oh, shit. oh my god! <laughs> Fucking Jesus! <laughs> I was not prepared. We were oh. prepared. 